Well, hello again, everybody. It's a good afternoon here in Maryland. I just got off work from my part-time job, so I stopped over to the yard, and I'm going to do a little bit of cutting today. As you know, there have been a stockpile of logs here laying in the yard, and I've been doing my best to try to get caught up. Uh, after my little bout with the poison ivy, I got a little backed up, but I'm all cleared up, so we've been getting a little bit done here in the yard. I'll show you around, show you what's gotten done and what we're going to get done today, uh, because there's some news coming up in the next couple weeks and uh, there's gonna be some help here in the yard once again, so stick around. So if you can remember this area over here in the yard where the skid loader's sitting and the little yard trailer is here, uh, there was a couple loads of cherry logs laying there. Uh, I have processed some of that, but the rest of the logs, I took the skid loader and moved them over here and piled them up. Uh, so that they will be closer to the splitter and when we buck them up we can pile them up right next to where they're going to be split. Uh, there's a couple maple sticks in there that I've got bucked up right there and some uh, mulberry here that I've got stacked up that's going to have to be moved over to the splitter eventually but for right now I want to get this cherry done and set up ready for splitting. Um, the yard is filling up. You can see this is the last row over here that we've got to get filled up. Uh, Val's got a little bit of oak left in that trailer there to get finished up, but there's only two or three sections left that need to be filled. And before we get started bucking today and get the saws fired up, I want to tell you a little bit about a call that I got this week and an order for firewood that I got this week that is uh, gonna make things a little bit different here. Pleasantly surprised by this call. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So the call that I got this week is gonna be a completely different way of doing firewood than I've ever done before since I started this whole thing. Some of you are doing it this way um, and it works out really well for you. I've just never had the opportunity to do it and I've never really advertised to do it this way. But enough of my bantering here, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Uh, this past week I got a call from a customer that I sold six cords of firewood to last year uh, who said that he wanted to order more for next year. He asked me if I would be willing, he watches my videos and knows the process of how I make my firewood, so he sees me split the wood on the east of Maid, he sees it go up the conveyor, he sees it go into the dump trailer, and he sees me move the trailer to where it's going to be stacked. So he asked me if I would be interested in selling him firewood that I split right into the trailer and take to him, and he wants it stacked at his property. Uh, he knows that it's not dried or seasoned quite yet. It needs some time to sit, but he said he's okay with that. I asked him how much firewood he was thinking about, and he said 10 full cord. 10 full cord of firewood that he would like me to split directly into the trailer and haul it out of the yard and stack at his property. So we worked out a deal on that uh, that we're both comfortable with and obviously it's a little bit of a discount because I'm not stacking it and seasoning it here for him uh, but then there's a little bit of an extra charge because I'm going to be stacking at his, at his property. So they kind of balanced out and we both came to an agreement like I said. So I've got 10 full cord of firewood that are, is going to be going out of here that will leave my yard completely full after that order is fulfilled. So, uh, last year when I hauled six cord out of here, that was a pretty good chunk out of one of the rows. This year I'm gonna deliver him 10 cord and not have even touched my supply here in the yard. So I know a lot of you sell firewood that way, you split it in the trailer um, and, sell, and take it to the customer right away. I've never done that before, so I'm excited for this opportunity and to see how it works out. Leave some comments down below if you've done that before and uh, let me know anything I might not be thinking about. Let's get the fuel in the saw, let's get the oil in the saw, get it warmed up and knock this cherry out this evening here. <laughs>
quite get it done. We made a nice little dent in the pile, but we didn't get that load finished. Just a couple hours here in the evening, you see what's left of the pile there. I've been trying to come over this in the evenings this week because the weekend is not looking good. Looks like four days of rain we've got coming to us, which are the main days that I work over here. So I'm trying to get a little bit done couple hours here in the evening in between the kids ball practice and game schedules so that's what we got accomplished here in just a couple hours you see the camper is back in the yard the family and I had a month of camping on the weekends down near Ocean City Maryland I uh, had some good times down there and one of the highlights of the trip was that Brady entered 
the fishing contest and won. So that was a pleasant surprise for him. He won a couple little prizes there. And it was a good trip. So that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, 500i eat a little bit of cherry wood here today. Uh, I'll get back over here probably tomorrow evening after work and finish that load up. And we'll be ready for another big splitting session here. Uh, but make sure you check out Friday's video. It's the first Friday of the month coming up, so you'll have your bonus video coming out then. And until then, I hope you all have a great week. Please subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, drop a comment below, interact with us, and we will see you next time.